Any questions? John Corrales. Brad, what, what did you see in the fourth quarter that, that caused that uh, unraveling there? I think it started at the end of the third, John. Um, I thought that they were super aggressive in their pick and roll coverages, as you knew they would be, right? So really blitzed, which they've done a lot in games. And um, they put us on our heels in that. We eventually handled that better and just, you know, we're not, never able to hit like the big shot or two to keep the lead where it was as they were coming back. And on the other end of the floor, they spread us out and drove us right to the rim. And uh, there are times where that is, um, you know, we could have done a lot better. We had a couple of major errors in transition, obviously at that time, but um, there were times where we could have handled the drive better, but there were also times where they just, you know, Zion Williamson and Ingram just put their shoulders down and got where they wanted to go. Um, and in, in regards to that, the um, was there any thought to maybe putting Robert Williams in earlier um, in that fourth quarter because he had been he'd been altering, I think, some shots there throughout the game. Yeah, so we had I don't I'm sure you noticed we had Tice and Thompson in most of the time when Zion was in, and so we actually had guarded Zion pretty well up to that point. Um, and, uh, and I thought that those guys specifically did a pretty good job of guarding him. I didn't think that necessarily his, his play was the only thing that changed the game. Obviously they got great energy play off their bench. I thought Josh Hart was excellent. I thought Melly brought him a good lift and good energy. And then when those guys came back in, Ingram was obviously great. Zion was way better than he was the third, first three quarters, but that's why we played Rob in overtime, but you know, even then, John, you know, he was good on Zion, but Tristan does a lot for us, too. You know, I think that you could make an argument either way, probably on that one. Jay King. Brad, you, you guys, fourth quarter offense has been kind of a struggle for you guys pretty consistently this season. What, what's gone wrong with the execution? And what do you guys need to shore up the most on, on that end in the fourth? Yeah. I mean, I'll go back and look at today, Jay. My initial impression is, again, we didn't handle the blitz great early, but then I thought we got a ton of open looks. And, you know, sometimes it's about, you know, when you're, when you're holding that lead is, is one of the two of those goes down, but listen, it's enough of a trend. Um, it's enough of a concern. Um, you know, we've got to stop it. You know, last year at this time, we were in really good shape in those moments. This year, we're not. Um, it has not been good. Um, and, uh, you know, this was a lot like the game I watched them play the other night, you know, when they had a big lead. But there's a lot of game left, and you got to do, do tough things on the defensive end. You got to do tough things and make tough shots on the offensive end, and they just made a few more than us. Gary Washburn. Hey, Brad. Um, how do you kind of – I know you've got the kind of like, we've got to improve, let's get them next time. But when you keep losing the same way, and they obviously went to Zion to kind of run the offense and they started trapping Tatum, what can you guys do to improve and meet like as soon as you can? Because it just seems like you have a 24-point lead, you should win the game. I agree with you. Um... We can, like I said, that's what I was talking about when I said blitzing. Um, they were obviously way up to touch on, especially Jason's handoffs, but, or excuse me, pick and rolls, but they were also up on Jalen some. And even a couple times, to be honest, we got blocking fouls and those could have been turnovers too. Um, we've got to just bounce out, make the right read and trust the next play. And, and I did think at the end, we did a better job of that. You saw we missed some open shots, but by then those shots are a little bit tougher. Um, and uh, we have to do a better job. With regard to playing through Zion, you know, we can put anybody on our team in front of Zion one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to get to where he wants to go, and we're going to try to challenge it as well as we can. That's why you have to guard him as a team, and that's why, like, sometimes you help and you get burned, like on the Ingram three, where we pull in and help, and he makes a big shot. Tim Bontemps. 
Hey, Brad, you had said the other night that if you'd gotten overtime, you probably would have pulled Kemba out. Obviously, you kept him in here today. Um, is that kind of a feel thing? How, how, is, how are you kind of judging that from game to game in terms of his minutes? Yeah, he was at 33-34 the other night against Atlanta at the end of the game. He was at 30-ish right at the end of uh, regulation. I asked Kimba and our medical staff if it was okay to play or not. I was going to take him out at the start of overtime. They said he's fine to play the overtime. If he would have gone two overtimes, he would not have played. Jared Weiss. Brad, it seemed like, especially in the fourth quarter, there were a lot of plays where after the kind of first option would get shut out that the players didn't really seem to know where to go with it from there when we kind of just try to reset and go into isolation. Do you think that's something that needs to be improved upon? And do you think that's something that will get better as familiarity increases as the season goes on? We've been better against the blitz on several times. And so it's about spacing. It's about just being in the right spot, getting rid of it quick, and then making the next right play. And I do think like they were physical. Like when we caught it in the seams, they weren't just going to let us go where we wanted to go. Like we you have to take it up strong and or spray it out quick. There's stuff that we can work on, but we've got a lot of, uh, we've seen a lot of that. And for the most part, we've handled it okay. We handled it way better on Friday night than we did today. Um, so that was disappointing, but, you know, we got, we got a lot of things to clean up, Jared, obviously, but uh, finishing the game is number one. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Coach.